How you doing there, Christian friends? What's going on? What's going on? I miss you guys. It's almost been like, feel like I've been away for a while. Time just been getting away from me and slipping away, but I'm, I'm back. I'm back at you. Um, so, of course, I just came here to do what I usually, what I have been doing, which is my pop-up Bible studies, where I'm just coming and popping up and popping on and just kind of wanting to give a word with you guys. So, um, you know, I wanted to talk today. Um, my topic today is pretty interesting. And um, and in light of Women's History Month, which I'm, I'm unfortunate to say that I honestly, I guess I didn't know much of it. I didn't know about it. I've kind of, I was seeing a lot of the posts today and I was like, oh, wow, Women's History Month, which is in March. So first, happy March to everybody and uh, happy Women's History Month to all of my beautiful women out there. So, of course, when I think of Women's History Month, I'm thinking about just learning the history of all the women out there that have paved the way for women like myself, uh, all of the women out there who are um, who are entrepreneurs, who are trying to get out there and change the world one person at a time, one word at a time, one um, idea at a time. And I'm just also thinking about the women back in our history, like our, my grandmother, my great grandmother, again, who has paved the way for us uh, by leading and teaching us and just showing us the way and giving us the guidance that we needed to become the women who we are today so that we can kind of pass on to our kids, right? Or to pass on to other women to support. I think of it just as an opportunity to expose the women that who have changed uh, uh, lives out there who have put in the work, who have uh, just been a part of history by creating and inventing and being an impact in the world. So I'm thankful about that. I'm thankful to know that. Now, to be honest, I don't know how long this whole Women's History Month thing has been going on. And I'm just I'm kind of, I need to pop myself on the hand for, for not knowing that. Because as, as a woman myself, as an aspiring business owner, uh, you would think that I should know all about Women's History Month. So I'm kind of hoping that this is something new that just started maybe within the last few years or something like that. Because I just feel like, uh, baby, if this has been going on for years now, why didn't I know about this? But I'm thankful thankful that I do know and um, that my eyes are open to it now that way that I can kind of prepare more for this particular month whether it is to support others in this month whether whether it is to uh, give advice or get counsel or help or or uh, advocate or just uh, support in whatever way I can learn more get more knowledge and understanding of all of the women from my history again who have paved the way learning more about my ancestors whatever is going to mean or take to continue to expand this month so that way it can not only just be women's history month but it could just be women's history all year long but if you look back on history you know women kind of are not in the forefront of, of leaders right or leadership but then again not really because that has changed because we got some bold courageous women out there that that has changed that whole path changed the whole perspective of things of women being leaders now and women being on top and women making bold and big decisions uh, to impact in a good way. So I'm just, I'm thankful and I'm glad to know that. But again, I, I do apologize on behalf of myself and any other woman that didn't know this. Uh, I apologize that I didn't really, really know about Women's History Month. And I, you know what? I probably did know about it, but maybe again, I just didn't give it the attention that it deserved. And so and for that, I still apologize. But anyway, so just in light of Women's History Month, actually my pop-up Bible study is, is, is a good correlation to about Women's History Month. So actually, this is a good thing uh, because my pop-up Bible study, the topic that I wanted to talk about today was how important it is to support others, advocate and be able to uh, be willing to take interest in others and not just only yourself. And, that, and that's coming from the Bible. That's coming from the good word, the good source that says that, you know, it coming from Philippians, not to only have an interest or take interest in yourself, but take an interest in others too. Also, this is this is good because uh, this also is the month where this is my two year anniversary for Christian Adorn Apparel. So I'm, this is all it's all actually coming together. So I'm glad it worked out like that. That it being a Women's History Month, and ironically, this is the month of my anniversary for my two year anniversary for Christian Adorn Apparel still operating. And I gotta give thanks to God. I gotta give God the glory because I didn't give up. I didn't um, just turn around, turn away from it. I just kept pressing on. And I'm not saying that it, I'm still where I want to be but I'm not where I was and I'm just thankful for perspective I'm thankful for the Lord again giving me that spirit to keep on keep on keep on keeping on and fighting this good fight of faith but yes yeah, so my business um 
just being an uh, entrepreneur and an aspiring uh, business owner because again I do I, I do have my business but I want my business to be able to be to pay my bills to take care of my family I want my business to be able to be a blessing to others and because I'm not there yet I'm still in the very infancy stages of my business uh, I'm still at the beginning but just uh, just to talk about like how uh, you know just in my journey because I'm always transparent about that you know I it I, I, it was a long road for me because again I've had I've it, I've delved into other ventures and um, things before in my past and I didn't give myself the time of trusting the process and putting in the good deeds to make the faith complete right when of course believing in myself I never had a problem believing in myself and believing that I can do this and do that I always you know kind of felt like I, I could do this but then I, I never knew how to uh, get I never understood what it took to to trust the process and remain faithful and put in and you know if you having faith in and what you can do, making the faith complete by putting in the good action and the good deeds. I always, you know, I would start something but would never finish. But, you know, I understand now how important it is and I understand the process now and how it, how hard it is and, and the work that you have to put in uh, to, and, and waiting on, and waiting on the Lord. So now that I understand that and that, and that perspective that I have now, it, it changed uh, the way I'm handling things and the way that I go about um, waiting on my business and watching my business grow. And I'm enjoying the process. I'm enjoying the, the beginning process. I'm enjoying the fact that this is a small beginning for me and I understand why I should not despise small beginnings for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. And I do too now, you know, before, like I was stating when I was trying this and trying that, it didn't work out. And many of it, much of it was because I wasn't including the Lord in, in anything that I had going on. I was just going after what I wanted, but I never once uh, thought about the idea that, you know, God is in control. I didn't think about the idea that, I'm put here to serve others. I didn't think about that idea that, you know, not to be selfish and, and, and think about other people, even when you're, you know, you're still trying to work for yourself. You're still trying to push yourself. You're still trying to pursue what you want, which is totally okay to do all of those things. But think about, you know, the source, right? The, the God who gave you the, the power to be successful. I didn't think about that. I was just, I was, I was in tunnel vision. I was oblivious. And I just was only thinking about myself and I didn't, I didn't uh, recollect all of that as it being selfish. I didn't think about it as you need to also think about others and consider others in your journey, getting counsel, getting insight, getting the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding. I just was on goal and I was going nowhere fast. And at the end of the day, the Lord had to discipline me and I am thankful for discipline. So, but anyway, I, I just, I wanted to say that, uh, just to encourage those out there who are, who are like me, aspiring entrepreneurs, or you're, you're pursuing something, whatever it is, even if it's not, um, pursuing your own business, but you're just in a new path or journey in your life where you're changing, you're transitioning to something different, right? You're taking a step into something or you're uh, walking away from something that you needed to walk away from, right? So it's all still just a new path and a new uh, journey for you. So I just wanted to encourage you that in that journey um, of wanting to pursue uh, what it is that you're pursuing, whether it is God is telling you something, this is your, this is the will that God has for you and you're finally stepping into it, whatever that may be, that again, we have to learn to uh, respect the journey of the fact that we're all, God gave us all gifts. And at this, at this point, we're all given gifts to God, the one spirit distributed gifts to everyone, right? But we're all working together. So it doesn't matter who plants. It doesn't matter who waters that seed. At the end of the day, we're all still working for God as co-workers for God. And he's going to reward those who put in the work. So we need to take that host, take that that uh, journey of, you know, pursuing whatever it is that you want to pursue and um, learn to be thankful and grateful and to uh, not despise small beginnings and then put in your work, put in the work of what it is you're trying to do. So whatever it is you're trying to pursue, you know, don't forget that you're still here to serve others because, because God gave us all the gifts to serve others. And I honestly, like I said, when I was come being not being naive and being oblivious and out there living to please the world and wanted confirmation from the world and approval from, from the world, I just, I didn't think about it like that at all. What the world told me success was, 
I, that's what I was going after. And I didn't once think about it like Lord has already credited me. He has already chose me. The Lord has already given me the gift. So all I needed need is me and God. And I just, I didn't think about it like that. So it just, you know, if I had to just encourage you all when it comes to that, uh, you know, out there in your own journey, your own path, just know that we're all still one under the body of Christ, given the gifts that the one spirit gave to each of us in our gifts to serve each other, support each other. And so I wanted to go to the word of uh, the book of Philippians, right? Chapter one, um, verse, I'm sorry, chapter two. And I'm starting at verse three, where it says, don't be selfish. And don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Uh, don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. So I'm going to go back to the part where it says, um, be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Because uh, I know that that can sound maybe a little conflicting when it comes to saying, okay, don't think of yourself. Don't think of others as better than your, I'm sorry, let me get that right. Thinking of others is better than yourself. So, okay, so if you're saying, well, then how am I going to be confident? But then at the same time, it's going to turn around and say, uh, think of others as better than yourselves. Well, look at it in a perspective of saying that at the end of the day, the Lord gave each and every one of us gifts. So neither one of us at no point need to be jealous or envious or hateful about nobody's gifts and what they're out there doing and shining their light and uh, being the salt on in the earth, right? Uh, so we don't need to be jealous of others and what their gifts are because we're all each individually giving gifts to serve others. That's what the gifts are for. They're not given for us to hold it in. They're in. They're given to us to give it out and share with others. So, but all of us can be humbled at any point in time. Nobody is exempt from the Lord humbling you if you feel like you know you may be better than others. So when you're out there, you don't have to compare yourself to no one else's journey, no one else's business structure. So if someone else does seem like they're ahead of you in their season and in their process, because we all have our seasons. We have to respect the seasons. We have to respect that this is where you're at in your journey and it's going along the path that God, God has placed it on because many are the plans in a person's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. So your, that plan, that, that what is happening for you is the good will of God anyway. So whatever your journey is, whatever season that you're in, you know, you have to still understand, be humble, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due season, he will, he will lift you up. So remain humble in whatever season that you're in. Thinking of others as better than yourself, meaning that, look, we're all in this together. We're, no one is better than the other in this journey. Your gifts will make room for you anyway. Whatever your gifts are, the next person gift may be something totally different that they can do that you, you're, you, you may not have the gift to do. But it all, we all, it all works together under, under one body of serving, under the one body of Christ to serve God. As servants of God, I'm sorry, let me just say all of that right, as servants of God. So we ought to humble ourselves and not think that we're better than nobody else. We are all in the same, we're all in this together on the same level. And at the end of the day, we should all be able to willing to accept counsel, accept insight. Of course, if it's coming from um, righteous individuals or individuals that's you know going to teach you or, or encourage you in a way. But yeah, we all are not beneath counsel and insight and wisdom and guidance that that it can take for us to grow. But we're all here together. We're all again. We're all serving each other. So yes, like the Bible says, uh, think, thinking of, uh, be humble, thinking of others is better than yourself just simply means that we're all on that same level. You're not better than nobody. Nobody is better than you. We're all giving gifts that are that's special, that is here to serve everyone. And so, you know, like I said, don't, um, don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest into others too. And so that that was, you know, uh, the topic that I wanted to really talk about was that, uh, again, w women, ladies like myself, you know, you're out there, you're, you're pursuing a business, whatever season you're in in your business, you could be in the infancy stages just like myself. You could be already est established business, making good money. Your, your business is paying your bills, paying, taking care of your family. Your business is a blessing to others. It's impacting the world. You're global. You're going global. You just, you know, you understand the seasons. You know what season you're in, right? So, uh, uh, again, you know, taking an interest into others and not only taking 
taking an interest in yourself. So when I saw that, I had to, I read that a couple of times because I really wanted to understand and how it correlates to us today. And again, with for Women's History, in light of Women's History Month, and in, in light of, you know, again, my business, Krishna Doing Apparel, being two years old this month, yay, yay, yay. Um, just saying that at one point in time when I just was only thinking about myself and just being selfish, right? Out there being selfish and living for myself, I was only wor worrying about my elevation and how I was going to elevate. But no, we must humble ourselves. We must know that we are here to, to serve others. So if we take that perspective, then we'll know that we're all still collectively working together, even though my business structure is different from yours. And then on the, on the flip side, you know, the world is saturated with uh, a pe Christian apparel lines, right? Or whatever it is that your, your, your venture is or whatever it is that you're delving into in your careers. Um, it's, it's saturated with, with the same type of people doing the same things. But just understand that the Lord still gifted you with that special gift and your gifts is going to make room for you. So every, it, it's all going to work out the way it's supposed to work. Nothing that you do for the Lord is ever useless. So when you put in that good work, the Lord is going to work it out. And let me go here to my notes here. You know, don't get weary in well-doing for in due season, uh, you will reap if you faint not. So when you're in the season that you're in, uh, you still put in the good work and don't get weary in well-doing. Again, don't get distracted by what you may see others doing in their journey, in their path. Because, you know, of course, sometimes it's hard, especially with that social media. Now you scroll on social media and you're seeing other people in their business. Uh, their business venture, they just look so successful, right? And you're still at the beginning, you're still trying to get it together. Or you might be in a season where you might have to close your business or or change and do something else. And you're just you kind of get discouraged in that thinking, you know, what am I or what am I supposed to be doing? Or this person looks successful, when is it going to happen for me? But you gotta keep on keeping on, you gotta keep on praying, you gotta keep on asking, you gotta keep on seeking and knocking to the Lord, submitting to the Lord, whatever you do so, so that He can make your path straight. And what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And then while you're doing it, be your authentic self. I just learned from uh, Pastor Dr. Darius Daniels. And he said that, you know, the Lord is not going to anoint you. That oil that, that's waiting for you, that the Lord is anointing you through your gifts. You're not going to get that if you're not being your authentic self. If you're conforming to the world. You could be in the world, but not of the world. So uh, remember in that mindset to just know that be your authentic self. The Lord already accepted you for who you are. He already knows who you are. He knows the very strands that are on your head. So no need to conform to the world because the Lord is going to bless you. Just like that good, that word that I, that I discovered that I'm holding on to that one where it says the blessings of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil for it. And I'm holding on to that because I'm, I'm, I'm in believing in, in, in faith and hope in that one where I don't have to conform to this world for my business to gain or to be successful and, to, and for me to succeed. I'm waiting on the blessings of the Lord to make my business do whatever it's, it's supposed to do in his will, if it's, if it's in his will. Understanding the Lord's good and perfect will for me. So if you be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the complete renewing of your mind, then you will know the, the good and perfect will of, that the Lord has for you. So if that is in the Lord's will for, for your business, right? For your business to do whatever it's doing. And it was placed on your heart to open up that business, to start that, to start that business or to uh, delve into the, the career it is that you wanted, uh, just know that at the end of the day, be, be your authentic self. Do not get weary in well-doing. And I had to learn that the hard way when I was conforming to the world because, again, I thought that success had to look like this because this is what the world taught me that success was, right? So I was chasing after uh, confirmation and approval from the world. And not once did I just know what the Lord had already blessed me with. So you are enough. Your talents and your gifts that you have will make the room for you. So all you got to do is stay steady in that and stay firm in that. Let's see what else I got here. And again, you know, when it comes to uh, uh, being uh, wanting a successful business, because right, women, we, that's what we want. That's what we're aiming for is, for is for success, right? Make the most of every opportunity in these in these evil days. It's not that we can't have it. It's not that we can't have all the things that we want, especially if we simply ask for it. The Lord says you don't have what you want because you simply don't ask for it. But then even when you ask, you ain't going to get it because your motives are all wrong. So check your motives. So first, let's check our motives, Christian friends, to evaluate yourself. 
examine yourself whenever it is you're doing what you're doing and pursuing whatever it is you're trying to pursue, right? The Lord do bless us with these opportunities and those chances to have at it, the chance to get that business, the chance to um, have that job that you were wanting. And that time comes, make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. And, 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 it's, and it's all right to do that because the good, the, good, the good book says that you can. All right? Shine our lights and serve others. Okay? Let everything you say so when you are out there pushing, pushing your business, right? Advocating for yourself because sometimes you're going to be out there, women, and even for me, I've had those seasons where I, I, I used to be angry because I, I, I got tired of people saying that they were going to do this and do that and helping and supporting and people are going to say they're going to do things and then they don't do it. I became a bitter, angry uh, woman because I was just uh, rejected by, by the world. And I, because I was trying to gain approval from the world, but I still turned around and got rejected from the world. So I became very angry. So, so I, I said all that to say, like, even now, women, you got that chance. The Lord has given us that second chance, right? Because the Lord, he, he, he himself will restore, right? He will establish. He will strengthen. He will support you and place you on that firm foundation. And when he do, we have to realize in that journey, in that pursuit of success, you know, because wisdom, wisdom can get, get you success, right? So we want to, we want to ask the Lord for that wisdom, that knowledge and understanding when we, when we're in the season that we're in, when we're praying for whatever it is we're praying for, remember to support others. Remember to think of others because you're serving others. Thinking of others is better than yourselves, but let everything you say when you're out there being an impact, because you want your words to impact, you want your business to impact. Let everything you say and do uh, be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. I just thought that that was very important in understanding that, yes, I am pu pushing for my business to, to succeed, right? There's others out there as well that is pursuing, that is pursuing their goals and they're trying to uh, fulfill their purpose. And they're walking in their, their purpose and their goodwill that the Lord has for them. But we're all in this together to support each other. We're all given gifts by the one spirit. He distributed those gifts to each and every one of us to have to get out there and shine our lights bright. But let's support others in that. And, I, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest, because at one point, you know, I, I, well, I, felt, I felt myself getting to that point of saying that, um, you know, I, I do want to be, and this has nothing to do with um, being prejudiced or, or, or uh, biased. Uh, at this point, but I do want to say that I want to be able to support uh, my black owned women businesses much more just black owned businesses more anyway to build up our community. Right. And and, and I've, I've said that for a while, but I do understand like sometimes, you know, with certain lifestyles, you're used to certain things because that's just what fits for your budget. And that's what fits for you and your lifestyle, because that's where that's where I'm at in my life. You know, but I've said to myself that I can't wait on the day where I'm able to support my black owned business businesses where I'm buying from them and supporting them as much as possible. Every dollar I get, I want to pour back into black owned businesses because we need to uplift ourselves and encourage each other. And then understanding that at the end of the day, there's no need to be crabs in the bucket, uh, turning our faces up at others or other businesses and uh, not rejoicing for others and their success. You know, see, we got to pray about that sometimes. We got to pray those demons away when sometimes when we are, we have that spirit of, of hate and evil and jealousy and comparison. I had, I had to, I have to pray that, pray that away. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to have to hoard, hoard and, and, and hold on to the, no emotions of being jealous of nobody's success or being envious or comparing myself. I don't want to have to look at somebody else's success and say, you know, why I'm not there yet. If you look at all the great people in the, in, the, in the book, they all had their own personal journeys of where they started at in their lives and certain ages where it was all over the place with certain ages. We, I mean, from, from the youngest to Josiah, eight years old, being the king, to Abraham being 80 years old when he finally, when that promise was finally fulfilled at 100 for him, uh, to finally uh, fulfill that promise of Isaac being born. So we, we, we're talking a whole scale here that at the end of the day, neither one of us, regardless of what our age is, neither one of us need to compare ourselves to the next person's journey. But what we do need to do is understand that the Lord has given us all gifts to serve. 
So let's take those gifts and make sure that we serve others. Let's take our journeys when we're out there uh, pursuing and advocating for ourselves. Make sure we're pursuing and advocating for others because one way that we are served, that we can serve the Lord and be obedient to God is to serve others and to love others. So I just wanted to encourage my Christian friends or encourage you all. And I I guess, again, in light of Women's History Month, encouraging my women out there, my black women who are, you know, we're trying to we're trying to get up. We're trying to get up that ladder. But let's not kick nobody else down while we're trying to climb up that ladder. We're going to pull the next next woman up as well. But this is definitely for my black women out there like myself who are who are still just at the beginning. But we have found a new uh, uh, we're on our new journey in life because we have th- thrown off our old selves. Right now, we have put on our new self. We have a, a new spirit in us where, again, we our perspective is different. We're not we're not going to uh, let the past uh tell us who we are now we're new we're new in christ now so now that we're new we have a new journey we have a new perspective our uh we 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 know that god is is the joy in our life he's the he's the source he's the main source he's the he gives us the power the energy to be successful so we know that we need to praise god give thanks to god honor god acknowledge god glorify god submit to the lord whatever we're doing so that he can establish our plans. The plans of the diligent leads to profit. So if we're diligent in what we're doing, then the, the success will come. But we just got to remember those key things to keep God first in our life. Because before, again, we were we were conforming to the world. Before we wanted approval from the world, trying to be friends with the world. But now that we understand it and it's different now, you know, we, we can appreciate our journey that we're at now. For those of you at the, just at the beginning stage, stages in their business or just making that change in their career where they had to change careers because the Lord has to, guided you in the path that you're supposed to go. So now you're changing careers. You had to walk away from something else and now you're changing or now you're just in that season of waiting. So now that your perspective is different, now you can go about your journey differently. Whatever it is, like when you are doubting yourself, like there's times where I do doubt myself and I doubt my journey. Just saying, Lord, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm not where I want to be at in my business. I'm not making the sales that I want to make. So, Lord, does that mean like I'm, this, is not, this is not for me? If, if I'm acknowledging God and what I'm doing, if I'm submitting to the Lord and what I'm doing, if I am encouraging others and I know that my purpose is, is the message and being intentional about the message, then nothing that I do for the Lord is ever useless. And I wanted my Christian friends, my, my women out there who are business owners, who are trying to start their business or in the process of starting their business, in the process of changing their careers, just to know that nothing that you're doing for the Lord is ever useless. So just make sure that the journey that you're on, that the Lord is in that journey with you. And so I just want to say thank you all for joining me. Uh, you can always review any of, of my other replays uh, where I'm just out there just kind of just giving a word. Again, a, a pop-up Bible study where I'm just popping up and popping on and just giving a word. Whatever season that you're in, that's going to be another key thing is to rejoice. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation and constant in prayer. This is one of my tees here with the black. And then I also want to show you one of my other colors here. Very cool, cute color. For those out there who like to just have bold colors going, all of my God Expression tees are just $20. So y'all can just check me out on my website. Go to my website, uh, krishnadorn.square.site. You can follow me on Instagram at krishnadorn. You can also follow me on Facebook on my Facebook business page, christian.a.apparel. So yeah, or you can also check me out on YouTube. I have uh, some other things on there that could be good for you all to just watch and and, um, hopefully it could be something that can encourage you. So you can check me out on YouTube at Godly Models TV. And um, yeah, so I just want to say thank you. And again, uh, to all my women out there who are out there making history, who are out there understanding that, you know, we have our, our, our seeds out there that we have to pour into. So I'm just wanting to give you guys an encouraging word, just saying, let's keep on keeping on. Let's uh, keep on fighting this good fight of faith. Let's uh, be alert, stay alert and be persistent in our prayers for all believers everywhere, because we're all out there. Our believers out there are all going through the same things that we're going through um and i do have another giveaway coming up just because it is christian dawn apparel's 
two year anniversary operating and still in business. Thank you. Thanks to God. So yes, in light of that, I do have a giveaway coming up. So just make sure that you are watching my stories or are watching any of my posts. So that way you will be updated on when the giveaway is coming up real soon. So just stay tuned. And I just want to say thank you all for joining me. So I guess I will see you all next time.